It's a privilege to be here. I'm in a much better state than I was last year, both physically and spiritually. So I'm thankful to learn more this year and um, just knowing the brethren has blessed me and I'm just really grateful to be here. Um, when I started writing my testimony, I was talking to my husband, I just was really depressed because it is hard to look back on your past and realize the entanglement, the sin, the depression you were in. But I'm also thankful to see that and to see the work that God has done in my life. Um, I was also raised in a Christian home. Um, and I am thankful for that because I do believe that the Lord um, blessed me in those areas. But I also, too, struggled with um, just because you're raised in a Christian home. Um, there are different struggles with that. But it was a blessing, so don't get me wrong there. I think the reoccurring theme in my life um, through all that I've been through um, is that God is definitely has a plan for me. I can see his hand guiding me and, and moving in my life through all my issues and problems. God has worked, and he's brought me to where I am today. As I look back at my past, and I see all of its ugliness and pain, I also see God moving me. Sometimes when I, I would ignore it, but I do see that his hand was on me. When I was faithless, he was very faithful to me. I was born out of the womb a very obstinate creature. My mother can attest to that. A lot of people say, no, not you. Well, that's evidence of God's working in my life right there. I found myself at the age of eight already needing forgiveness for a conscience that already had such guilt. After I was baptized, the devil did a good job of reminding me of my sins. And I struggled because I didn't fully understand what I had in Christ. I held to a form of godliness and did my best to perform what was right. But the transformation didn't come from the inside out. It was from the outside, and the inside never was fixed. I didn't have any power to overcome sin in my life. I became a good actress, conforming my actions to look like I was a model Christian. But inside, I was full of rot and decay. I was bound in heavy chains of sin. I was so sorry for the sin that I was in, but the more that I tried to overcome it, the worse it got. I could never have victory in my life, no matter how hard I tried. I continued my Christian walk in a life that was stagnant and status quo because I believed that I could never be holy, that I was always going to have sin because I could never conquer it on my own, not realizing that Jesus is the reason that we are able to conquer our sin. The only reasons I continued going to church and even trying was God kept me there, and he really did. And also, I didn't want to disappoint my family. And also, that it was just a habit. You just go to church. And after I got done thinking about all that, I said, isn't sin depressing? I'm so overwhelmed by how great God's grace is. I also know that God's timing is always perfect. And that he always does things at the right time. I look back at my life and 
now that I know so many wonderful things, I, I wonder, you know, why did it take so long? But I am thankful for his time because what if I couldn't have accepted it then? I've only just started to find out who Jesus is and what he has done. And that's because God sent ministers to my soul. And many of them, my dear brothers and sisters that I have begun to know, to explain to me the way more fully. And I'm so thankful that God sends people to bless our life and show us the way. It started with um, the rally that Brother James was talking about and Brother Given and Brother uh, Jeff Hussetter stayed in our home. And um, they were talking about spiritual things in a way I had never heard before. And um, it was like um, water on my dehydrated soul. I have been so blessed by the insights of the brethren here. And um, it started um, right after we, uh, thank you. we visited um, Joplin pretty soon after Brother Given left and we had gotten this brochure um, that the Word of Truth puts out. And um, there was an article in there talking about how Jesus has conquered sin and that through, through him conquering that, that you don't have to sin anymore. And it may sound simple, but to me it was life-changing. And I'm so blessed that Jesus has conquered sin and that I can be free of those chains. I have been shown so much, and I am no longer a slave to sin, and I have found true freedom in Christ. I'm experiencing true joy in Christ, something I didn't have before. Christ has helped me to understand the struggle between the new man and the flesh, and I am thrilled to have those light bulb moments where the truth of the gospel shines through to my heart. I am loving the Lord more all the time and find myself at the throne of grace because I prefer his company. I understand the faithfulness of God because he has faithfully brought me to this place of sanctification and transformation. I know he will continue to do a good work in me.